You are an ambassador. You are a steward. You are a gardener. You are a steward through the street, through the sky, through the sea. To do what? Because we got a mandate. We got a mandate from heaven. As an ambassador. What is an ambassador? How do you understand an ambassador? An ambassador is someone who is sent by his people to a foreign country to represent Great Britain. To represent Great Britain and to represent America. We are the ambassador of Jesus Christ. We have a mandate from heaven. We are here not to beg you. We are not here to say, oh, I wish that neighbor is not at home. We are here, my friends, as an ambassador. We are put on. And said in Colossians, where for my beloved brethren, put on charity, put on love, put on peace, put on self-control. Let me tell you something. We got the fruit of the spirit, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperness, self-control. The climax of the fruit of the spirit is no love. The climax of the fruit of the spirit is self-control. And today our society has everything, including free love, including free sex, but not self-control. You need self-control. You need self-control. And I need self-control. We all need self-control. We all need a moral standard, not in us, outside of us. And that moral standard is Jesus Christ. Therefore, my friend, my God is in my heart. It's in my heart. My God cries in me the hope of glory. Christ in me. You don't know me, my friend. Let me tell you something, young man. Let me tell you something. I handcuff, listen, I handcuff darkness and light. How? Not through me, but through Jesus Christ. I do. I do handcuff darkness and light. I'll tell you how. I'll tell you how. How? How we handcuff darkness and light. Are you Jewish or no? My Bible tells me it is far, far greater to light a candle rather than to curse darkness. It makes sense, doesn't it? It really makes sense. In this park, I am called, my brother called, and the brother called. Listen, we are called to be the salt, not the honey of the bees. We are called to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. And only Jesus Christ can transform that light in us. Therefore, my friend, I don't worship the cross. I don't bow down to this cross. That's a reminder to me here on earth that Jesus Christ said, my son, I love you. My son, you are matter to me. My son, I died for you because I love you. And today, what do you are Muslim? What do you are Jew? What do you are Hindu? What do you are Krishna? What you are agnostic? What do you are Isis? You are martyr to God. Therefore, we respect your identity, we respect your integrity, and we respect your image. Are you Jewish? I am a spiritual Jew. Are you Jewish? I am a spiritual Jew. No, you're not a Jewish. I am a spiritual Jew, my friend. Let's come back to the cross of Calvary. Why took God? Why took God to send his son to die on the cross of Calvary? Why? He is omnipresent, he is omniscient, he is omnipotent, all powerful, all knowing and everywhere. Why Jesus have to die? In an agonizing pain, in a brutal way by the Roman soldiers and by the high priest. Why? Why? I will tell you why. Because Adam failed. We got four gardens in the Bible. The garden of temptation. The garden of tears. And the garden of triumph. And the garden in heaven. According to my Bible, heaven 
is like a garden. While Adam, among the fruit, the fruit of the trees, among the birds, the fowl of the air, the animal of the earth, among the fish of the sea, while Adam failed, my Lord Jesus Christ, in a wilderness, without water, without bread, he conquered sin. He conquered sin. Yes, he conquered sin. He conquered grave, hell, and death. Where is Muhammad? Where is Krishna? Where is Buddha? They all dead. Sir, sir, give me the bone of Jesus. I will draw my Bible. Mama, give me the bone of Jesus. I will draw my Bible. But let me tell you something. No. 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 He said, Oh God, a body, a body thou shalt have prepared for me. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was no anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men, and the light shone in darkness, and the darkness complained not. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him may be saved. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which light every man that came into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. Listen, uh, that's the key verse. Verse 12. But, I love when the Bible said but. I love when the Bible says, therefore, henceforth. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Which was born not the blood, not the will of man, not the will of flesh, but of God. And then the verse 14. Listen carefully, Mama. And no, you are not. No, you are a sinful daughter of God. I am a sinful man of God. Yes, you are. Let me ask you a question. When was the last time you lied? When was the last time you lost? You don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Why do you say, hold on, why do you say, Why do you say, The mic is yours. Sorry? Because they are no means. Oh Allah, do not judge us. Do not send your wrath upon us the way you did to these non-believers. Jew and Christian. How do we pray? How I pray? Don't you know we fast? Mama, my lady, mama, do you know we are as a Christian? We fast more than you fast, but because we don't advertise, nobody knows. Every Friday. No, every Friday. We fast more than you fast in a year. But we don't advertise. Our Father, our Father, which are in heaven. Okay, okay, let me ask you another question. We don't fast like Muslim fast. We don't. Let's come back. In verse 14, it says, And the Word was made flesh. And the Word was made flesh and dwell among us and we bear the glory the glory out of the only begotten of the father full of what listen carefully full of what full of truth and grace full of grace and truth only jesus christ only jesus christ can combine grace and truth only jesus christ can combine grace and truth. Let me ask you a question. Where did Jesus Christ say I'm God? Sir, are you a Christian? Where did Jesus Christ say I'm God? Directly. And I'll say, but where in the gospel Jesus Christ directly said I am God? Huh? 
Sir, my Bible said, let every man be a lawyer, but God the truth. In Romans chapter 3, verse 4, let every man be a lawyer, but God the truth. In Matthew chapter 17, verse 19, the Lord Jesus Christ said, and to that one of the disciples, why callest thou me good? For none is good but him that is God. When he said, I am the way, I am the truth, he's saying, I am God. When he said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life, he's saying, I am your God, my Muslim friend, worship me. Let's come back to the cross. Why the cross? It's a piece of wood. Why we are so bothered about this cross? I'll tell you why. We are taught in 1 Corinthians chapter 1. For the preaching of the cross to them that perish foolishness. But unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. My friend, the cross, one of the primary purpose of the cross, what is it? Wake up, my brother, you are Christian. You must know your Bible. Otherwise, don't come to Hyde Park. Because you're going to meet many deceivers in this park. Many false prophets in this park. Many who, call, who confess and proclaim that they have the truth, but they don't. So my friend, one of the primary purpose of the cross of Calvary was to demonstrate the holiness of God. And I will tell you why. He said, Eli, Eli, lama tabatakani. My God, my God. Are you a Muslim? Jesus Akbar. Muhammad is dead with my due respect. Muhammad is dead, finish. Muhammad is dead. Muhammad is dead, my friend. No, he is the worst one. Muhammad was the worst man ever lived on the face of this planet. Yes, you are. You are. You are. I'll tell you why. Did Muhammad kill, yes or no? Did Muhammad kill, yes or no? Yes, he did. Muhammad killed Asma bin Marwan. Muhammad was a murderer. But Jesus killed nobody. But the worst. Let's come back. But he's going to finish. I know him very well. I'm ex Muslim like you. I'm ex I was a Muslim like you. I was a Muslim like you. I was a Muslim like you. Let's come back to Jesus. To the cross. Sir, on the cross, he said, My God, my God, why hard? Thou forsaken me. Where is written that? Show me the scripture when Jesus said, My God, my God. No, it's not in Matthew. We got three Psalms in, in the Lord. Three Psalms. Psalm 22, Psalm 23, and Psalm 24. In Psalm 22, he's the good shepherd. He's the saving, he's the suffering servant. Listen carefully. In Psalm 23, he's the great shepherd. In Psalm 24, he's the chief shepherd. In Psalm 22, as a good shepherd, he laid down his life for you and for me. And the first verse on Psalm 22, he said, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? My Bible talk about the hand of God. My Bible talk about the ear of God. My Bible talk about the mouth of God. My Bible talk about the eyes of God. My Bible talk about the feet of God. Was his heart shortened to the cross of Calvary? Sir, was his hand shortened to the cross of Calvary? Was his eyes shut to the cross of Calvary? Was his ear close to the cross of Calvary? Yeah, it was. It was actually. That's why he cried out, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? His hand was shortened. His eyes 
was closed. His ears were shut for you and for me. He had no sin. He had no shame. He had no guilt. God turned away his face from the cross of Calvary. Why? Because Jesus was made sin for me and for you. He didn't die for his sin. Do you know the story of Absalom? Absalom? Absalom, yeah. Absalom, what Absalom mean? Absalom. Absalom, the son of Shalom, the son of peace. Was Absalom the son of peace? No, he was not. Absalom raised up army against David. David ran away from Absalom to the cave. When he's back to the cave, Absalom take all the concubine of David to himself. How did Absalom die? How did Absalom die? My friend, Absalom was very tall, very high. Absalom, during the war, his head stuck in a tree. Listen, young man. His head, Absalom's head, was stuck in a tree. Why? Because of his rebellious act against his dad, because of his sinful nature. But the same Absalom, the son of peace, the same Absalom, the son of God, hung on a tree, not for his shame, not for his guilt, not his for sin, but for me and for you. Therefore, my friend, the cross is the power of God. The cross is the grace of God. The cross is the love of God. The cross is the joy of God. The cross is the peace of God. Why? Why? Because Genesis chapter 3, verse 15 and 16 must be fulfilled. Adam couldn't. Cain couldn't. Abel couldn't. Enoch couldn't. Moses couldn't. Abraham couldn't. Jacob, Isaac, they couldn't. He died for you. Because he loves you. Yes, mama, let me tell you something. If you were, if you were the only person on the face of this planet, Jesus Christ would have come and died for you because our God is the God of love. God loves you, Jesus died for you, and the Holy Spirit gifted you. And you too. Come home, my son. Come home, my son. Come home, my daughter. And I will throw the biggest party because the heavens party unlike the earth party. Listen, you get drunk with wine. You get drunk with wine, wheat, and women. WWW. You know what that means? 666. WWW. Anytime you and I will go on WWW, we are searching for what? For wheat, for wine, and for women. He does yet to hear. I'll tell you one way. Sir, do you have a girlfriend? Sir, do you have a girlfriend? Are you gay? Well, I love you. Let me hug you. Let me hug you, man. But I love you as a sinner, but I hate your sin. Alphabet people, alphabet people is the lifestyle. Let me hug you, man. Let me hug you, see? That's what, that's love. That's agape love. Unconditional love. Unselfish love. Now, finally, let me ask you a question, sir. Mama, will you die for me? Yeah, will you? But I will die for you. No, it's not fine. No, it's not fine. 
No! Jesus Christ said. As the gentleman, I'm going to step down. Daughter, daughter, Jesus Christ loves you. Here we go. I never met you, and I love you, and I bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And you too, you are matter to God. I respect no you one. Who are you? Let me argue one. No, I, I, you know, I, I, respect, I respect your integrity, I respect your identity, and I respect your image. No, we are no pro. No, we are no pro. With my due respect, we are not the same. And I will tell you why. In one sentence, I will tell you why we are not the same. With my due respect, I respect your image, your integrity, and your identity. Let me ask you one question in one sentence. Does Allah is the Father? Al Afasa. Does Allah is the Father? I'm going to thank you very much. So how can we be the same? How can we have the same God? My Bible said, my God is the Father. The Father. I'll tell you how. I'll tell you how. If you listen carefully. Biologically, Bro, biologically, God have no son. Biologically, God have no son. When God is the Almighty, how can he have children? Okay, if Allah is the Almighty, what was he doing in a burning bush? In a burning bush. Yes. When Moses, according to your Quran, I don't have the reference. According to your Quran, Allah said, it is I, Moses, it's I in a burning bush. Yes. Yes. Is, is, is Moses God? No, it's not. So then how is God burning in the bush? The voice came from the bush, said to Moses, remove your sandal, for you are in the holy ground. It is I, Allah, speaking to you. My bro, Habibi, if Allah be in a burning bush, if Allah be in a creation, then Allah can come as a son. Very simple. I love you, God. God bless you. You too. You matter to God, and I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. And you too, my friend. I said you are matter to God, and I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord may his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his hand upon you and give you peace. I'm, I'm sorry, man. Huh? I'm sorry. You're sorry. I'm Thank sorry. You. Thank you. I'm this sorry. one over here just called me a dirty Arab. I, I do apologize. And you, accept, you expect people to listen to him? I said I'm sorry. Yeah? On behalf of him. I appreciate that. I'm but sorry. He, this one over here is an absolute. No, you are not a dirty Arab. Yeah. No, no you are not, my friend. I don't care. You're you are made in the image of God. I don't care. I don't care. Therefore, I respect your identity. Racist. Habibi. Habibi. Person. I respect your identity. I respect person. your he's integrity. He just called me a dirty Arab and he's expecting to preach people here. He called me a dirty Arab. I don't know for what reason. I don't know for what reason. I but I do apologize. Please accept it. Bro. Bro. Yo. Listen. Yo. Bro. Yo. Young man. Yo, Young man. My Bible said. You are the soul the of the earth. That's what, I just hate racist people. Not the honey of the bee. I hate racist people. Bro, we are here. You're racist guy. We are here. Racist, we are here to, bro, bro. We are here to you. We are here. We are an ambassadors. We are a disciple. We are a shepherd. We are a steward. We are here to declare to you the gospel of peace. The gospel of love. Will you accept that? The mic is yours, sir. We are here to tell you we love you and we bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Just wait. Therefore, my friend, let's come back to the cross. I'm going to step down. I have been sick for two months. Trust me. And I got a message to say to you. Why? Why God took me away for two months? Why God took me away? Habibi, I love you. And I'm a habak. And I'm a habak. 
جزاك جزاك الله جزاك الله انا محبك احمد الله يا حبيبي I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's my weapon. Sir, I will not, I will not even throw water at you. No, I'm not. I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. The past is gone. I cannot change it. I cannot change it. Can you change yesterday? Sir, can you change yesterday? And I can hug you and I can die for you. I do. Because my God is the God of love. My God is the God of peace. What do you say what happened in Australia two weeks ago? A young Muslim man, a young Muslim man, he made one eye of the Mar Mary Emmanuel Bishop of Orthodox Church in Australia. He went into the church, he stopped her multiple times, he lost one of his eyes. That's Islam. With my due respect, that is Islam. But I'm here to give you the message of love. I'm here to give you the message of peace. My daughter, Jesus Christ loves you. My daughter, Jesus Christ died for you. My daughter, God loves you. My daughter, and I believe and I know that the Holy Spirit has gifted you. Use it. That is a divine appointment today for you to be here. God has a reminder for you and for me that our body, forget about my ministry, my body is not belong to me. For two months, sister, for two months, God took me away from this place, from every corner of the street of London. And I said, why God two months? I cry out day and night. The doctor couldn't find out what is the problem. I try herbal medication. I try antibiotics. I try the stream. No healing. For two months and five days, God took me away. And he said, my son, my daughter, you are bought with a price. You are not your own. You are not yourself. For you are bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. You may be a weaker vessel, but I'm a weak vessel. And he said, my son, I teach you a lesson that every member in you must be an instrument of righteousness, including our private part. When you bow down to your private part, you are worshiping your private part. He said, my son, stop it. Wake up, wake up, wake up before death wake you up. Wake up, young man, before death wake you up. And I'll tell you why. Because my Bible says we are here on journey. There's a war. It's not, it's not, Sir, how many types of war are there? How many types of war? Please. Sir, you know we have second, first world war, second world war, and it will be third world war, but not by nuclear bomb. Because nuclear bomb, nuclear bomb means the annihilation of human race. And God Jesus Christ will not allow China, will not allow Russia, will not allow America, will not allow Hamas, will not even allow Israel to have a, to activate the weapon of mass destruction.
My voice is gone. I have to step down. Well, my brother, why don't you pick up the Bible? Why don't you pick up the Bible, sir? Drop, drop, back, drop, back, drop, back, drop, back, drop, back. Don't waste your time. My Bible says, my Bible says, Yahweh, Jesus Christ, Jehovah is my victorious banner. Jehovah Nisi. Oh, free, free Gaza from Hamas. Free, free Gaza from Hamas. Free, free Gaza from Hamas. How many How many How many How many How many man made religion. Thousand man made religion, but there's only one religion who are acceptable with God. Hamas. There's only, my friend, with my due respect, you all have a religion of fig leaves. Your religion is the fig leaves. Your religion is the fig leaves. My religion is the religion of blood. My religion is a religion of blood. Our Father, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. In earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. I pray, my brother, I pray that my God will direct your heart into the love of God and into the patient waiting for Christ. No, you must sacrifice. Jesus is No, no. That's the exception. That's the exception. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Sir, Genesis 3.15, tell me what that said. Genesis 3.15 and 16. Doesn't that justify Jesus' sacrifice? I'll tell you, I'll tell you. How, how does that justify Jesus' sacrifice? Well, you don't know, let me ask you a question. In Genesis chapter 3, after the fall, when Adam and Eve fall from the fall short of the glory of God, God came down in the cool of the day, literally walking in a garden. He said, there's three curse, four curse was announced. One on the animal physically, one on the earth, one on the woman, and one of the man, Adam. But the curse to the devil and to the woman was, and I will put enmity, and I will put adversity, and I will put war, and I will put conflict, devil between you and the woman, devil between your seed and the seed of the woman. And guess what? The seed of the woman will bruise your head and thou shalt bruise his heel. No, I'm not saying he must sacrifice. I'm saying that is the first gospel preached through the mouth of God to Adam and Eve. You are still about human sacrifice. I didn't say I'm not agree with human sacrifice. I didn't say that. No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Don't lie. No, I, I, no, no human sacrifice. No human sacrifice, but his only begotten son. Was he sacrificed or not? His only begotten son. So he was sacrificed. His only begotten son. Can I ask you a question? His only begotten son. In order for your sins to be forgiven, a, a man had to be, a, a God, as you claim, had to be sacrificed. So your own God had to be sacrificed for your sins to be forgiven. Is I, that what you're trying to explain to me? Yes. And you understand why we think you're mad? Why? Now you understand why no, we no, think why? you're mad? No, nobody's mad here. Human, nobody's human mad here. Don't judge. Don't judge. Don't judge. Now you understand why we think And the word, and the word was made flesh and dwell among God. I will bear his glory, the glory out of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. 
Only Jesus Christ. No Muhammad, no Moses, no Krishna, no Buddha. Only Jesus Christ combined grace and truth. Can I ask you another quick question? No, grace and truth. Why does Judaism not believe in Jesus? I'll tell you why. Actually, they do. Actually, they do. They do, yeah? They do. I'm sure they do. Why? Right. Judaism. Right now, he would tell me oh. that they believe in Jesus. Yeah. Jude, uh, where did the church come from? The original church, Israel. Who are the first people? Jewish, hundred percent. Peter, Matthew, John, Elizabeth. The Jews don't claim you. The Jews don't claim you. No, no. See, I'm correcting. You don't no, read yeah, history. Don't he, so he, I didn't say Muslims, the Jews claim Muslims, but he's saying the Jews claim Christianity, Christians. That's a lie. Uh, 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 you're not really listening. The, the first, the first Christians were all Jewish. No. Oh, who are you? No. no. Oh. Jesus, Jesus wasn't a Christian. No. Who said? Jesus was a Jew. Jesus, Jesus, was, a Jew. Jesus was a Jew. Don't lie. Peter, Peter was no, Jewish, no, no, Elizabeth was Jewish, was Matthew Jew. Levi, La Matthew Testament. Levi Jesus was a Jew. Jew. Okay, so, the first Christians yes. were all Jesus Jewish. Jesus the first, the first and that's the problem you have. So, some Jewish people refused to believe what the other Jews believed in. And that's what's happening today. Today, there are millions of Jews who believe in Jesus, Yeshua, as the promised Messiah. Okay? So where does the church come from? Where does the church come from? It doesn't come from London or New York. It doesn't come from Bangladesh or Zanzibar. It comes from Jerusalem, Israel. That's where the church comes from. Why? Because Jesus came back from the dead. Hallelujah. And that's why the church came from Israel.